everyone. I'm here to give you some insight and guidance for the week ahead. This is going to be from August 31st to September 5th, 2020, of course. So let's get started. Also, we have the full moon on the 2nd or the 3rd, just depending on where you're at in the world. Um, so uh, full moon in Pisces, I really feel like there's going to be a lot of mental activity. It's going to be a lot of imaginations, like like daydreaming and energy of that. So some of you could be daydreaming a lot. Others of you could um, um, maybe <laughs> blow things out of proportion. Um, you know, it's the moon, so it's emotion. So really watch out for that. Try your best not to blow things out of proportion. Uh, do your best to um, try to stay grounded and centered. Um, use this opportunity for visualization, especially if um, you're trying to manifest as well. Okay, so let's see here. What do we need to know for the week ahead? Okay. And some of you may not experience experience this uh, until the end of the week. Um, you know, uh, time is fluid. So either way, I hope. Um, I'm able to give you some insight, guidance, and some clarity as well, okay? Okay. Okay. So I'll pull four cards. We have the Lover's card, Gemini Energy, or just mutable energy. Um, it could be Virgo as well I'm picking up. Also, um, Gemini, of course. Um, Pisces. And also, who is mutable? Um, and also Sagittarius, okay? So we have Seven of Cups. The Devil, We've got Courtney Love in here again. <laughs> she came out in another reading that I had did okay and the ten of wands here okay so the devil is busy this week okay so this devil can actually be a physical person or it could be you know um, a shadow side of yourself or a shadow aspect of yourself uh, we all have a shadow side this could be a lot of um, worrying this could be um, being addicted to something being addicted to someone codependency bondage um, and not not the kinky bondage I meant like the bondage like you're um, bound um, in a situation that's no longer serving you it's just a toxic energy okay and seeing that um, the ten of wands is right next to it this is burden so um, let's go back here the lovers card here I'm really seeing here that it's important for the week ahead for us to really be mindful in regards to what we are attracting. Yes, the lovers do does talk about, you know, a magnetic love connection, uh, a romance, but I really feel like this has something to do with just energy, like law of attraction. So we have to be really mindful in regards to what we're thinking and what we are putting out into the universe. And this has something to do with the emotions, okay? Our, we can find that our um, head may be up in the clouds uh, during this week. So it's really important um, that we come back down to earth because for some of us, um, out there our heads can be in the clouds about a situation that's very toxic it's, uh, it could be you know just ways of thinking that's very toxic or no longer serving us so really be mindful in regards to what you're allowing to rent space in your head okay so if if any type of negative energy was to present itself and you know you have these thoughts it's really important for you to um for one, recognize this and then take necessary steps to um, remove those thoughts, okay, out of your mind, your body, your spirit, okay? Um, seeing the Ten of Wands, I mean, it's just a very heavy, burdensome energy. Um, what I'm hearing also is going to take every ounce of you to um, 
to make the necessary changes okay it's going to take every ounce of you so if you are really struggling um, emotionally even mentally you know um, it's really important for you to be um, active in the changes that need to take place in your life okay um, you can reach out for help you know of course you can ask people for help but if you're not willing to do the help or to do the work then it's going to be very difficult for you to get out of that vibration or that situation okay it's really time for you to identify you know what has been wearing weighing you down you know what has been weighing you down what has been keeping you in bondage and I feel like there's a few things that we're needing to recognize it's not just one thing you know there's a few things that we're needing to take a look at and this is really going to call for us to reflect and seeing the lovers here you know of course there's two okay there's two here but I see this as reflection you know this week we're definitely going to be reflecting um, for some of you who are <laughs> who are not reflecting this is encouragement for you to reflect this week you know reflect in regards to what it is that you're truly wanting what are you wanting in your life you know what are you wanting in a relationship um, you know what do you want really determine this and whatever it is that you want it's time for you to make that decision make that choice and let go of the other crap that no longer serves you whatever this bondage and this this burden has been whatever it is you know it's time to rid of that get rid of it okay and focus on what it is that you're truly wanting what's going to help you grow what's going to help give you a sense of gratification um, peace happiness you know it's time to really um, identify this okay and in order to identify it it's gonna be a call for you to really reflect to take a look at yourself okay um, what else am I seeing here? What is this devil card? What is this devil card? What is this devil card? Devil, devil, what do we do? What is this devil saying? I'm hearing distraught, okay? Distraught. Okay, Ace of Swords. So, Ace of Swords, it's telling you, it's time to cut, cut this devil out, okay? Whatever this devil is, okay? This could be an aspect of yourself. This could be a person in your life. This could be behaviors, ways of thinking, fear, you know? Whatever that is, it's time for you to see the truth of the situation and remove what no longer serves you, okay? You know the truth, I feel. Um, a lot of you are going to be getting some clarity in regards to this, this devil, this could be a shadow side of ourselves. Um, this is like a realization. You know, it can't have something to do with you or just someone else. You know, it can be, it can go either way. So um, I really feel like um, there's going to be a realization this week. Things are going to be made very clear. Okay. I'm hearing also that some of you are freeing yourself from a very difficult situation, um, freeing yourself from certain patterns. Okay. What is the Seven of Cups? Seven of Cups. Wow, the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands. That's TLC right there. So the Page of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So I see that there's definitely going to be a new beginning after you make a decision in regards to what it is that you're truly wanting. Okay, I feel like there's definitely going to be a new beginning. And you're going to be feeling crazy, sexy, cool, but crazy in a good way. <laughs> um, what else am I seeing here? Yeah, this is a new beginning for sure. This is feeling uh, renewed, okay? Once you make this decision, once you make up your mind and um, decide to take, I'm hearing, decide to take ownership, there's going to be a new beginning. And I feel like taking ownership over yourself, over your life, okay? For some of you, it could be owning up to something, you know? But I see a, a, a new beginning, absolutely. A new sense of vitality, a second chance, I'm hearing as well. So this is Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. This is Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. 
Ooh, Janet Jackson. Look at that. Janet Jackson. That's the way love goes. <laughs> okay, so Ten of Wands. So this is the chariot. So the chariot is taking back control. It's moving forward. I feel like once we're able to offload the BS and remove the burden from our lives, um, our mind, our body and spirit, I feel like we're going to be able to move forward. Um, and this is for certain. Okay, with this chariot. This is taking back control. Also, I see this is um, just encouragement, you know, of course, to take back control over your life. If you need help, ask for help because the Ten of Wands, you know, it does talk about delegation. So you may need to ask for help if you feel like you have too much on your plate. Okay, ask for help. Okay. Um, what else am I seeing from this? The chariot. Um, I'm also hearing something about a vehicle. Okay, for some of you, it's just there's something about a vehicle. Like your vehicles is um, really um, burdening you. <laughs> like it's it's a pain for you. Okay, but I definitely see a, a new vehicle. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to pull an additional card. See if there's anything else. Um, so yeah, most importantly, we're going to be reflecting this week. Um, and making a decision on what it is that we're truly wanting. And making a decision whether or not we are going to heal or not. Are we going to continue to carry around this baggage? This could be other people's baggage that we're carrying around. So we're having, we're having to make a decision whether or not we want to continue. On with this okay and there's several decisions that need to be made for some of you I see okay but I definitely see a new beginning uh, a realization and moving forward deciding to take back control of your life which is really good and we have two number sevens here seven of cups and the chariot so two number seven so this could be in regards to a relationship some type of contract this could be in regards to work as well uh, deciding to um, move on from a job I'm hearing okay that's for some of you um, making up your mind okay getting back in the driver's seat okay you you could have been um, you could you could have a decision you have a decision that you need to make and you know you've kind of been going there's a lot that's been going on in your head and emotionally and now you're deciding you know what this is what I'm gonna do Okay, if this is not the case, this is encouragement for you to make a decision and then move forward. Okay, all right, so let's see here. Let an additional card. Okay, okay, this is our advice for the week. 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 Yeah, um, I'm hearing also wolf in sheep's clothing. So um, also keep in mind, and this is for all signs. Okay, this is not just for a specific sign. Um, there might be a wolf in sheep's clothing. So uh, make sure you just keep an um, eye out for that. Okay, see the truth of the matter. Okay, so we have night ride. So this is our advice, night ride. So seeing this, um, these owls here, this, the owls represent wisdom. Also, they're nocturnal. They can see in the dark, okay? So you could be um, going through a, for some of you, you could be going through a dark time, okay? But it's really important for you uh, to continue to move forward. During this dark moment that you're going through, this is a call for you to really reflect, Okay, and going back to the owl, the owl is nocturnal. It can see in the dark. So it's important for you to see your way out of the dark. Okay, I really feel like you do have the opportunity to see your way out of the dark. In order to do that, you have to really reflect and really make a decision um, in regards to the situation that's been keeping you in the dark. And then cut ties, you know, offload the BS. Okay, take ownership back over your life. All right. See your way out of the dark and just understand that you have um, people that care about you. Um, also, you have angels, your ancestors of love and light who care about you, that who are who are with you as you are going through this dark period. And everybody goes through it, you know. 
Okay. So don't lose faith. Um, is there anything else I'm seeing here? Um. Yeah. Before, yeah. For the most part, I think this is um, this is pretty good. I think we're good here. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, feel free to send me an email. Okay, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month, and God bless.